does it feel like Christmas yet? It doesn't here in California because it's what's 78, almost 80 degrees. But I'm wearing the sweater because it's supposed to be cold. It's December. It's literally Christmas next week. It's supposed to be cold. But there's nothing better than California weather, so whatever. Um, hi guys, it's the Makeup Talk. Welcome back to my channel. That is Henry. His name is Henry. Henry, welcome to my channel. He's decided to spend Christmas with us. I love snowmen. That is my favorite thing about Christmas. I'm not really into Santas. I'm not really into like reindeer. I love snowmen. I think they are so cute. And I guess everyone knows that I think snowmen are cute because I got two snowmen. I got two snowmen to decorate my house. So shout out to my mom's friend for getting those for me. And yeah, I've got snowmen like all over my house because I love snowmen. If you're wondering why my nose is so red, it's because I was I was pushing the blackheads out. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to use products. You're not supposed to push them. But it was getting ridiculous, okay? It was getting ridiculous, and I wanted it done. And, like, is it weird to say that it feels good to do it? Don't judge me. All right, guys. So, um, you guys didn't come here to uh, hear me talk about my blackheads. Um, today, we're going to do a BoxyCharm unboxing. We're going to go ahead and hop into this bad boy. This is the December BoxyCharm. It's the a Glitz and Glam box. So, um, if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a $21 monthly box subscription. It includes about three to four full-size products and... It's always a killer steal. Uh, it's $21 for the entire box. No, like, surprise shipping or surprise fees somewhere here or anything like that. What do we have first? We have this uh, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's a Pro Concealer Palette. Um, I don't think I saw this. So, what BoxyCharm does on their Instagram, if you don't follow them, you should. They do uh, tutorials um, on their BoxyCharm, on their on their IG stories and it really shows you how to best like apply the products and stuff like that if you're kind of a bit newer to makeup so why am I having a hard time opening this anyways it's a great thing to do and they also give sneak peeks of what's going to be in the boxes so you can get all excited about your box before it gets here so I finally got it open there it is is $29.99. It says Bella Pierre's Professional Color Correcting Concealer Palette is formulated with rich, creamy, good for your skin ingredients helping to create a flawless, healthy complexion. I just remembered that this is a correcting concealer palette. I thought it was a concealer palette and I don't know why because they did show it. Um, here it is. It has a mirror down here, which I'm obviously I'm blocking so I don't blind you. And then it comes with purple, which is great to cancel out dullness in your skin. Green for any red or acne blemishes. Uh, for any red in your skin you're trying to disguise or anything like that. And then orange to cancel out any blue or purplish tones. So you know where that's going. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe M167. And I'm going to go right into that orange shade. They're actually kind of creamy. Look. I like that. Okay. And then we're going to go right here. Just where you have the dark circles underneath your eye. I'm a little heavy with it, but you get the gist. And then I have this wonderful, wonderful... I burned my face a couple weeks ago. And yes, for the most part, it's gone. But... My little friend needs to like go away. I'm tired of him. But I unfortunately just have um, spots that I just cannot leave alone on my face for some reason. Because um, I like to pick. Because I like to pick at them. And that's bad. Do not pick at them. So, so far I like it. It's really creamy. Now, you have two options when color correcting. You can put it underneath your foundation and then put your foundation on top. Or you can do this and then after you've blended it out just a little bit, you can put on your, um, you can put on your concealer. So again, you want to blend it out just a little bit, but don't get rid of the whole thing. And then if you're trying to cover up a blemish, blend in around, blend out the, around the blemish. 
not directly on it, just around it. But just the edges. You just kind of want to diffuse the edges. One of my personal favorites is tarp, sh tarp shape tape, tarp shape tape in a tan sand. So here we go. Concealer, and you do apply the concealer directly over the corrector. And then we're going to get that guy right there, and we're going to get you over here. It's been months, and he won't go away. But you know what? I can't blame anybody except myself because I haven't been, like, super strict with myself about putting the Mederma night cream on as much as I should. And then we're going to go ahead and, and again, when you're trying to conceal something like this, you want to blend around the actual breakout and not right directly on top of it because all you're going to do is remove what you already put on there. So, already looking a lot better, especially my under eyes. Looking so much better. We're going to go ahead and set that. We're going to, to let that go ahead and set. Now, I'm going to kind of finish off the majority of my face and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back, I did my brows, and I went ahead up in the box. We have the Real Her Blush Kit. This Real Her, this Real Her Blush Kit is uh, $32. It is, it says, treat your cheeks to an instant natural glow with three shimmery tones. I am not one for a shimmery blush. We're gonna use it. We're gonna do this. Oh! And they are paraben-free, certified cruelty-free, gluten-free, and contain all natural ingredients. It is not vegan, though, however, because it does contain a mica, just for anybody wondering. And, oh, it also has a mirror. There's the mirror right there. Why the heck not? That color looks really pretty. So, it contains three shades um, in the shade Fearless. Limitless and unstoppable and that shade unstoppable kind of looks really pretty. So Why the heck not plus we got a crown brush in here. This is the crown pro blush brush Very good. So we have sorry this deluxe blush brush is $12 and it says with super soft dense synthetic bristles This brush can be used with both powder and cream blushes and provide a medium to full coverage for a more dramatic finish so Let's go in. I'm usually not one for blush, actually, to be honest. I bronze and that's about it. I'm one of those people. I just use bronzer like it's, well, like it's the last thing I'm ever going to use, right? We're going to go into the shade Unstoppable. And I kind of love these new, like everybody's coming up with these brushes with the little handle here. And I don't know why, but I just, I kind of like it. I just feel like it's like, it's, it's a perfect place to put your hand, your finger. Okay, I've had to swirl in that a couple times just to see pigment on the brush. So we're going to go with a light hand because maybe I overdid it. Definitely the blush isn't over shimmery. I thought it would be, but it's not. a lot of crown brushes from you know different places um, and from BoxyCharm and I don't like this brush it's so like it doesn't move enough for me I really like like super fluffy if I am gonna do blush I'd like super fluffy brushes All right, I'm gonna take this Morphe E4 this is my favorite blush brush and I'm going to see there we go. Yeah, I don't like that brush. It's like not picking up pigment very well. And it just, it doesn't give me that finish that I like. Like, you see how this moves a lot? Like, the bristles move all around. I like that more than like a very specific, um, that's just a blush for if you're going to put blush in like a specific place. Like, you already bronze, so you're just going to, you know, dab it right here 
that's the kind of that's that brush but the blush is really pretty i thought it was gonna be like a glittery shimmering mess but it's not i'm i really dig the color i'm digging the color most definitely blush kit yes blush brush no the tardiest tart the tart tardiest lash paint mascara it's 23 dollars. it says a jet black vegan mascara that has a molded brush that grabs and coats even the thinnest lashes for 2700 percent more volume so 2700 percent more volume i've used this mascara before this is my first time using it or having a full size i bought a full size of it and i like it because it's wet I know some people do not like wet mascaras. I like wet mascaras because I feel like it's easier to lay layer them than when mascaras dry really fast. You're kind of done really fast. Um, the brush is not my least favorite, but it's also not my most favorite. My favorite brush, mascara brush, would have to be the roller lash. But that one is not a very wet mascara. My perfect mascara would have this formula, be this wet, and have the roller lash brush. That would be my mascara baby. But, not to say that this brush or that this mascara wand isn't great. It is. It really does grab your lashes very well. Um, but it is a plastic, all plastic wand. And so is the roller lash, but the roller lash has that bend, and uh, for some reason, that just really pops your lashes. It really, really does. So, we're going to start here, and what I always do is I wiggle my mascara wand through my lashes. Little trick that one of my friends who first taught me to put on makeup taught me. And you see how I can keep, like, layering the mascara, and it doesn't get, like, super, like, thick? Or clumpy that's the wetness of the formula and then when it does get clumpy I can always comb those clumps out whereas when you have a dry mascara you can't do that unless you go in with one of those like tools to you know separate your lashes you can't do that whereas with a wet mascara you can very freely do them the other reason that I like the roller lashes because my lashes stick out straight and that's no one's fault if you have really pretty like curled the lashes this mascara would be your best friend I just I don't have that my mess my lashes literally stick straight out so I need the lift since it's so like it has so many bristles it's really easy to get into your lower lashes and not cause a whole like distort disturbance in the force you know are any of my subscribers Star Wars fans did any of you guys catch the disturbance in the force joke I hope so I love Star Wars I've seen the movie so many times. My cousin was a huge Star Wars fan, and he used to make us stay up and watch the movie and eat dunk and watch the movies, and eat Dunkin' Donuts. And if we fell asleep, we'd be in big trouble. Look at my lower lashes. Like, but that is without curling my lashes. Obviously, if I curled my lashes, they would be like. All the way up here and they just would look phenomenal but I forgot and frankly I'm scared to curl my lashes after I put on mascara it's something I only do before I put on mascara it is not something I do after because I'm scared to rip my lashes out that's just that's just the truth of it I really am scared to rip my lashes out and uh, the last thing in the box is uh, this a uh, pretty vulgar my lips are sealed uh, it also has a different name. It's a liquid lipstick. It says 106 Secret Sabotage. So, what is this? Okay, so it's a pretty vulgar. My lips are sealed. A lightweight liquid lipstick. Okay, so it's called My Lips Are Sealed. The uh, color is Secret Sabotage. And it retails for $24. It's a highly pigmented liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish, nice comfortable creamy texture, and a citrus cordial flavor. I feel like I'm going to either like or hate this color. I'm going to line my lips using Strip Down from MAC. This is my favorite lip liner of life. So, we're going to take this. Look how pretty. Their packaging is like really 
like ornate because like you got the little flowers you've got the little rose gold you've got their logo in rose gold you've got the little component in rose gold and they've got their name in rose gold and it's really nice and weighted like it's really weighty okay Mm, it's like a minty it's definitely a citrusy scent too but it is minty as well this is like moussey liquid lipstick it's not like super liquid I guess if that makes sense it's like a thicker consistency of a liquid lipstick um, which I normally love But it's so thick that you can hardly move it around the lips. I like the color. And I know a lot of people say that they're like over the magnetic or metallic lip trend. I've never tried it. Mm. I like the color. I like like that like I move and like it. it is really metallic. I don't know if this is like the most flattering formula for like your lips. If you have like enhanced lips or lips that have like no fine lines, then I feel like this will look beautiful. But that's what my lips look like. My lips just don't look. It's accentuating all the lines because it's metallic. And if it wasn't metallic, it wouldn't be doing that. And that's what it feels like. And it could be because the formula is kind of heavy. I don't know. I'm going to leave it on for a little bit. I'll update you guys. I also feel like this isn't like a liquid lipstick that dries down, obviously, because it's metallic and like shiny and stuff. And that's not for me. I like, I like, I like my liquid lips to dry down because they are liquid lipsticks. Um, but that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this BoxyCharm unboxing. Let me know what you guys got in your box. For variation, so not everyone gets the same thing in every box. So let me know what you guys got. Let me know what your favorite product was. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.